What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have some storms coming our way and we got to do some things to get ready. As you guys know, we almost had our house burned down like a week ago, something like that. It was a huge scare because of our chicken brooder. So we're going to do some stuff different with our chicken brooder and we've got some things that we need to change up with that. But I want to have Marcy's help with me because she always says she doesn't know how to run this stuff when I set it up because I tend to jerry rig things. So if I have her help me, I figure... Hey, then we'll both know how to do it and how to take care of the animals. If I'm out of ever out of town or whatever, then she'll know what to do. Marcy always likes it when I come home and say I'm home. Hi, Otherwise, hi. hi. I didn't know you were home. I'm home. <laughs> Otherwise, I like we'll be doing stuff. She's like, I didn't even know you got home, so I always have to come home and say I'm home. Hi, how was work? It was pretty good. It was very dirty. People that I'm doing the job for, they had their house burned down, a part of it. And so I'm going in and we're doing all the rebuild. Well, today I was ripping out burned walls. So I got covered in charcoal. That's why I smell smoke. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> so, why. Okay. What are you doing though? Well, I'm just sitting in here decompressing, trying to avoid our two-year-old. Oh gosh. <laughs> he drew all over the back of the couch. Oh. With crayon. Did you get it off? Yeah, I spent like two hours on it. Oh but, my gosh. So I just finished feeding him. And I just, I'm sitting here playing a game, trying to not lose it, so. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing? I'm playing June's Journey. I play June's Journey at night when I'm feeding the boys. It's nice because it's a calm, relaxing game that I can play and still feed them. June's Journey takes place in the 1920s and I love it because it's a mystery game where I get to find clues and solve the problem, which are the kind of games that I really enjoy. Also, I get to build my own island. You gotta check this out. As I play June's Journey, I get to build my own island. So I've put in a fountain. I have like cute little dogs over here, but it's really user friendly, which I love because I don't have time to learn how to do a bunch of crazy things. I get to play my games and solve different mysteries here and discover my own clues. Another cool feature is you can connect with other players on the game, which makes it really exciting to play against people that you know. We'd like to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. We'll leave a link in the description down below where you can download the game for free. Now, I need to put this boy down to bed and we need to go get ready for the storm. I don't know where Marcy is. She's supposed to be helping me. Chicken brooder plate. I am super excited about this. We shouldn't have any more fires with this. I don't know. What's going on with the chickens over there? They're all out running around. You guys, look how dark it's getting. It's so ominous. The weather is actually quite nice though. Oh, forgot to grab the other stuff. So one of you guys sent us all of this stuff to help us with our chicken brooder and our chicken issues that we had. If you didn't see the full video, there's I'll leave a link to that too. Uh, but we had a fire over here and it was a big issue. Potentially. Thankfully, we got it caught in time before it got any worse. But now we have a bunch of stuff that's going to help us make it 100% safe. Never I found her. He calls these binoculars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And he actually calls them noculars. Noculars. <laughs> Krenna, why are you making such I a mess? I dropped everything. This should be pretty easy. <laughs> Two screws. Yeah, throw the box in the burn pile. I'll burn it. I'm surprised it's not windy. It was windy all day until, like, right now. Well, it's the calm before the storm. That's probably a true point. Oh, hi, Zan. Hi, Sean. All of the animals are actually doing really good. I think they're liking the warmer weather. We'll have to see. Did they already get eggs today? Did anybody? I think, so. I think they did, but they only grabbed like one or two. So. Oh, really? There weren't very many? We've been getting five eggs the last couple of days, and it's been great. Okay, so we have, first off, Marcy's got the waterproof extension cord the noculars the noculars the waterproof extension cord thing so let's put that on right there scratch that we have to plug this in first because we're getting rid of the heat lamp da, 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 da. okay how does that work whoa that's easy yeah very really, user friendly <laughs> really easy just plug this in like this i don't know if it automatically sets the temperature or what but y'all, this is gonna be 1,000 times better than a heat lamp. I'll because, find out. Okay, Marcy, you read the instructions. You never do. Do not put brooder near water source. That's probably because of the electricity. Please do not let children use this product. It's got this style right when here. When you clean, when you clean it, unplug it. 
Okay. Smells like chickens. All right, so. And he asks why I make him shower every night. <laughs> I don't think I asked that. Marsh, we're doing this. The in there. We're doing this so you know I'm not jimmy rigging it. Colonel, I'm gonna get attacked. That'll be good for no. you. No! There's too many chickens by me. Wow, she's pretty. Are you done yet? What was that? A door? Yeah, that's a door. Wow, she's pretty. Jules just, is it called molted? Yeah, molting. She molted and now she looks super pretty. I haven't yeah. got this close to her in a like a time. few weeks. Okay, so I just put that in there. Pretty easy. Now we can unplug this. Uh, actually, we'll have to unplug it out of here. Uh, you made me get that close for no reason. Hi, Sean. Sam, leave me alone, bud. You stink. Yeah, maybe what we do is we just go get a regular light bulb that doesn't overheat. You know, that doesn't... Like a light bar. Yeah, just a light. Because I think they it would be good. They sell sticky ones on Amazon. Well, we can... Like oh, a motion no. sensor one. Look at this, y'all. Uh, like that. It's like a sushi roll of electric wires. Um, Zan just went in there. Zan! If you guys don't know, goats love chicken feed. Pretty sure it is their favorite thing ever. Okay, that's hooked on. Yeah. 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 Golly. Hello. <laughs> I got it set in there. I had to close the door. I don't know if it's working yet. We'll give it like two or three minutes and then I'll go fill it because I don't feel any heat coming off of Wait, it yet. Wait, why'd you have to close the door? Because Zan will go in there and eat all the dang chicken feed. Oh. Yeah, you, mister. Why are they all congregating around me? I think you have some snacks, Mars. Both of our allergies, y'all. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. So bad. Mine actually got a little bit better until I decided to come out here. My whole face, you can probably see my eyes are like, oh, so puppy. Kind of, right. it works. Marcy went back inside. I went in there to help her for a second. We had to help the babies, but they're all doing very well. So I have got the ducks feed, which y'all, ducks are messy eaters. Half of their food ends up on the ground and the other half, I guess, ends up in their tummy, but holy cow, they are messy. The chickens are a lot cleaner, but I've got everybody food and water. Everybody should be set. I'm pretty sure they can all tell a storm's coming because they're all out here hanging out and uh, eating a bunch. Uh, that's PG-13. We're not going to show that. <laughs> all right, y'all. I will just say I am so excited for this better weather. Like it has been, it was super, super cold last week. This week is like heating up. I think it was almost 80 degrees today. I think it's 80 degrees again tomorrow and then there's a storm on Wednesday and it makes me just want to be outside and do a ton of stuff outside. I don't know if you guys can see the quail. We had a lot of people ask us about our quail. Here they are. They're still doing great. They've uh, been in here under the shelter all winter and they seem to do just fine with it. We haven't lost any during the whole winter. They, uh, they haven't been laying eggs. That's super normal, especially for the quail during the winter months they just completely stopped laying so thankfully we've had the chicken eggs all year the quail not so much i am ready for them to start laying again and if you guys didn't know we actually have 20 something quail eggs in the incubator i'm super excited about those i love the quail and quail hatching so we'll show you guys that when it happens mars what you doing cleaning up maverick's toys <laughs> if i don't clean them up who's gonna clean them we gotta get maverick to clean them up i know but the kid, he's so, we've had cousins over today, and so it's a bigger mess than normal, and he's, he's kind just, of on the edge. He's on the edge. He's really, really grumpy, and some days I just don't want to fight it, so, yeah. but look, it's- I cannot believe that that cleaned off that good. If you saw on our Facebook, um, a few days ago, we posted how Maverick colored on the back of our couch with crayon and I don't know how to get Cran out. I know how to get a ton of other stuff out, but I have no idea how to get Cran out. So, here we go. I asked on Facebook how to get it out. A lot of people said an iron with a paper towel or a cloth. So, we're going to try that first. I'm going to do like a spot test. 
and see if we can get it out. But we might be experimenting with a whole bunch of stuff today to see what will get this crayon out of the back of our couch. The thing is, is it's like the back of your couch. You don't see it. This is how we come in the house, is this door. It's the first thing we see when we come in the house. When I was a kid, I drew on my mom's couches too, and now I know how mad she was. I feel like this is just gonna set the crayon. I mean, there's like a faint little purple one. So I don't feel like this is working very well. What I found out is if I just take the paper towel itself, and I, like rub it dry it comes off just as much as it was coming off with that Ugh, this is so painful okay we're gonna try the a few of my favorite stain stick stuff and see if that works here i have felice napa and a rag i'm gonna try it like right here to see if it works oh my gosh you guys it might work it might work Ah! Okay. Let's try this spot. That's what it looks like. It's wet. I hope it dries good. We might have to come and like fade out the water mark. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna let it dry. See what happens. Yeah. There's barely a little bit of purple can I can see, see right there. Like right here and right there. And those actually, those are the spots that I tried just to use the water with. I didn't apply soap right there. And so clearly the soap is what takes them off. That is insane. That seriously blows me away that it works that good. Like, I'm, I'm impressed. I, I was, thought our couch was ruined. Oh, I did too. I was terrified. Like last night when I saw it, I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. And I didn't even show you for like 30 minutes because I was so mad that like I just walked away and was like, I'm going to deal with this after I've cooled down a little bit because I was ticked. But clearly it, it works. It looks a little bit better. So we'll leave a link down in the description, guys, if you want to get some of that soap because it's That's amazing. That's the soap too that gets out baby poop from clothes. Yeah, I guess that soap basically works on anything. So I guess I'm gonna give Marcy a hand. We're gonna get this cleaned up, get Maverick put to bed, and uh, maybe have a little bit of relaxation time for ourselves. As the babies wake up. Yeah, <laughs> as their babies are ready to eat. We're in the process of building another closet, so we can put this stuff away, but it is gonna be getting moved here shortly. So if you guys wanna stay tuned for that, we have some more house stuff that's happening. But we wanna say thanks again to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Like we said, we'll leave a link down in the description that you guys can go check out and download the game for free. And we'll see you guys on the next one.